meeting call to order. Council Member Clayton. I'll call you Wednesday. Here. Council Member Kendall. Here. Council Member Werner. Here. Deputy Mayor Quinn. Here. Mayor Moore. Here. Please stand for a silent prayer, a moment of reflection. We will now salute the flag. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. As to comply with the Open Public Meetings Act, Chapter 231, PL 1975, adequate notice of this meeting has been provided in the following manner. The annual notice was forwarded to the Asbury Park Press, the Coaster, and the Star Ledger on January 6, 2016, and posted on the bulletin board the same date. All notices are on file with the city clerk. Items for review, we're under a city manager's report on issues raised at prior council meetings. None at this time. a request for handicapped parking space at Lincoln Meadows, Wilkinson, and Springwood Avenues for resident Marcella Harper Carpenter, apartment number two. Any questions? Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Essentially, the intention for the city is that we will clean the park. Um, we're looking at a new high rise um, structure that's possible. It's in full renovation. Um, we will be putting that on the um, Wilkinson Avenue way and then putting it on the Spring Street way. And the new footprint um, will serve the high school next door and replace the palm trees to trees which is more natural to the dirt and sewer to stop it's going to go back to palm trees and staining the park around and removing the dirt from the palm trees. Okay. Okay. Thank you. 
the pump can survive the first year, though, right? They survive. They survive the summer. They survive the summer, but not the winter. They do. You for them to change from Palm to another Jersey Creek, you have to go back to the Jersey Planning Board and get permission. And they did that for another Palm Beach. And that was in 2013, right? I think it was before my time. No, this is 2014. Yeah, 
Um, we will agenda items for April 27th to 2015 at a regular meeting. Two zero one six two ten. Resolution of the City of Asbury Park make an application to the New Jersey Local Finance Board for clearance, blah, 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 and fee request. Clearance by Seven Hills. Could you just explain this to me in the public? Just a brief explanation. Sure, Mayor. The resolutions 210 and 211 are pretty much the same thing. Whenever the city does any sort of bonding, capital programming, as a transitional aid municipality under the Qualified Bond Act, we have to get the um, local finance board approval. This is the resolution that says that we can apply for the local finance board approval. Okay. Uh, 2016214, authorizing the award of policies and procedure updates for the credit aviation of New Jersey State Official CP8. This is to get the police department accredited. I think it's great. I'm just, wh what's the time frame? It'll be about 12 to 18 months. Thank you. 2016215, the Springwood Avenue uh, Park. The change order, can you just explain that? Um, this is for phase one. It, the phase one is still on target to be completed on time, but they found uh, an abandoned tank in place. The cost to replace said tank is $2,500. Um, this would be a change order um, to comply with state law. Under the now therefore being resolved, if the change order number one is 18,000, that is incorrect. I'm waiting for the CFO to provide um, the correct information. That would be the contract cost plus change order number one, so new contract cost. So that's what we expect that would be.
time out and during the month of May, have it like a humanity where you're going out and helping the community. It's free. It's available to any resident. So please come and sign up if you're looking for a seat. I don't know at this time. I'll have to get back to my notes. Well, I'd just like to piggyback on what you said. Thanks go out to all the sponsors, the people that worked harder to put in the rodeo together. It was a grand affair. And if you didn't come, you missed something. You missed something that's really was good. And it was good for the town. And everybody was just full of joy and happy because it was a new event that we tried. So we just want to say thank you at the council. We spend the money and other things. Uh, I'll start off with the rodeo association. I have to say thank you to everybody, including Mayor and Council, administration, uh, Cassandra, Lisa, Cindy, uh, Barbara Van Wagner. Uh, I'm going to forget people that work on the committee, uh, but I, I, she's going to hate me when she hates me already. Caroline O'Toole. Uh, we were here at the end. If without her, we'd be here. We just wouldn't have been good stuff. But because of her, we, we know we're well over $30,000 profit, and we could be close to thirty-five. dollars uh, we, we still have some outstanding bills, and people are still sending in checks. So if anybody wants to make a check out, it's to City of Asbury Park, 1 Municipal Plaza, 18 New Jersey, 07712, and the checks will be made out to the Asbury Park Recreation Trust Fund. Uh, it's a great event, and just it, it was a, a joyful don't believe it took four months, but it, it was a good event and great people. And you cannot do any event without a great committee, because the committee deserves all the credit. Okay, so that's the positive. Let's get to the negative. Have we heard from Mr. Gary Carr? Uh, not from Mr. Carr, but the governor's office and the District 11 assembly people reached out to me, and they're going to be coordinating the effort. Fantastic, because I was going to say, to hell with Gary, let's go with Tim. So I guess we're ready for Tim. On 20116-16, the ordinance of next business to buy be it vehicles, equipment, blah, 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 school bond ordinance, which is definitely needed. But in there is an air raid. And so we've been talking about getting air, two air raiders into Sunset Park for way before you were here, going back to last summer. I don't want that to be pushed back because it just bothers me. I know we have plenty of money someplace. I'll find the money. Can, can we make sure they're up and running by May 15th? I mean, I, I know we have to get three prices, but we had, again, DC, before you, we, we had six months to get these prices. So there's going to be no excuse if those air raiders are not up and running. And I'm going to take it personal, but I, and I should, because I've been telling the public that this is bad. The ordinance would go into effect if advertised around May 20th. So forget this ordinance. So I'm saying find the money someplace else. And I, I, I know all four are going to support me on that. And I know I can find the money because on tonight's Bills and Flames, and, and two months ago Bills and Flames, we took money out of DCW for snow removal, and we have $95,000 sitting in the account that's been there. So transfer that money that we took out of DCW for snow removal, put the money from snow removal back in the DCW budget, and they can buy 10 air raiders. 
So again, like if this is something like you know, all this went through this mess. It was a brutal, brutal summer. Anybody who looked at Sunset Lake was appalled, rightfully so. And there's no excuse for this city not being ready before summertime. So what if you if you say, I'll give you my credit card, five cents. Okay. They're expensive, but that's what my wife has a good line of credit. <laughs> I, I don't. So, but so my you're spending does. your wife's money, not your money. <laughs> don't tell her. <laughs> uh, okay, last thing. I, I know DPW is doing a survey on all our signs, and that's going to take forever. Meanwhile, what can we do as government bodies setting policy saying, meanwhile, as we're doing the survey, can you please take down the signs in every park that says no picnic tomorrow? I mean, well, wouldn't we have to rescind the ordinance? That depends on what it, it depends I doubt on if it was ordinance. an ordinance. Okay. I mean, it, it's two nuts and two bolts and a screwdriver. Okay. No picnics, take them down if possible, as soon as possible. That's all I have. Thank you. Thank you. There's three rather quick things. Um, number one on the list is the estoppel certification for Madison Marquette. Uh, Madison Marquette needs, a, in a simple terms, a document stating that they're not in default on certain aspects of their agreement. Um, we are at this time, Carl's researching it, not sure if it needs a council resolution or it can just be signed by myself administratively. So we have it here just in case for either one. Um, arcade regulations, I've been approached with and we talked about this approximately a month ago, from um, a business about changing the arcade regulations in the Central Business District. The planner is working on it. We've had some discussions. Uh, this has been part of the larger Central Business District um, plan amendments, and that should be forthcoming in the next month or so. And the parking consultant request for proposal, um, the parking committee has reviewed it. Myself, Deputy Mayor, are, and Deputy Mayor meeting with the uh, state fiscal monitor tomorrow. We'll, we'll have a brief discussion on that. And there should be some sort of recommendation either Wednesday or the next council meeting is listed on the minutes on that. That's all. If there's going to be a recommendation for Wednesday, then I can't make tomorrow's meeting because I'll be on the phone. Just email us all this before Wednesday because I, I have problems with the health. Good evening. My name is Ms. Harper, and this question is for Ms. Clayton. The um, message that you gave about the expungement, the laws have changed. I'm interested in that. Could you give me that date again, please? I'm sorry, can I give you? The, the date when the laws were expunged, April 27th? Uh, April 27th. April 27th. April 27th. All right. Thank you very much. All right. But if you can come out um, to St. Stephen's Church mm -hmm. on April 7th, no, May 7th. May 7th. Sunday to Sunday. May 7th at 12 o'clock. All right. That we can give you all the information you need and help you fill out paperwork. Thank you very much. They, ch they changed, but they're still not great, and that's why these are great meetings being held by everybody from the school system, by ourselves, at the church. And the problem is, and it's not a problem, what we have to do is we have to get in touch with our state legislators because it's a state law. So for us to change them even more because some of the laws are like 50 years old and have to be brought up to date. <coughs> so the more people we get their pen, sign the petition, they send to Trenton, the better off everybody is. It's an appreciative cause. I used to work for a transitional household and the household still stands. It's in Asbury Park. It's known as the Canright House. And I'm quite sure a lot of those, you know, people would like to have the information on that. So thank you very much. Thank you. Right 
Good evening, Mayor and Council. Jackie Pappas, Asbury Park Chamber of Commerce. Just wanted to let the public know and the Council know that um, Councilwoman Clayton and I have been working once again on Paint the Town Pink for Asbury Park. Um, we'll be sending out some details and you'll get some um, from Hannah and myself about different programs, but I wanted to take this opportunity to let people know that on the business community side, um, we are launching a contest slash exhibit and it's going to be called Bravo. And we have 15 to 20 uh, businesses that will be participating and they will be creating a brassiere that will hang in their window for the whole month of May. Uh, that will be uh, an awareness campaign for getting an annual mammography. Um, so if you have done that, then congratulations. If you have not done that, then get some inspiration with our local businesses the whole month of May. They will be installed the first week of May and the contest will end and be judged and awards given to the winning businesses on first Saturday in May and we'll cut the ribbon on that exhibit that will last the whole month of May, along with some other festivities going on during the month and lots of pink all over town. So if you're a resident or a business, take the month of May and pink up your place. Thanks. Thank you. That's a great idea, Bill. Really I'm not gonna say what the <laughs> new owner of Pink Elephant said. <laughs> <laughs> Tracy Rogers, 900 Bart Monroe. <coughs> I want to first thank the mayor for the rodeo. I heard it was fantastic. I actually had a meeting in the Bronx, so I couldn't make it, but I heard it was fantastic. And maybe you should do another one. I would like to see you in a tux, maybe do a, a ball, which you say you don't like. I think it looked great in a tux. Um, and I think we realized when we worked together the situation with the Salt Hotel, when we all get out there and we push for the residents to be involved and work together, you get the results of what you had, 110 people coming out of the school and 60 residents gonna be working for the city. And I think that's gonna make them proud and also the city proud. So I look forward to that and I appreciate, you know, the fact that you guys got involved to try to make that happen. Um, I have a question about um, Springwood Avenue Park. I want to know where most of that corner to the park came from and what it has to do with this current park. Um, and also, just following up on um, uh, getting a uh, following up on, oh, on uh, getting us together for the cleanup for the summer, I mean, uh, for April 30th, if we can all communicate to get everybody out there and with Habitat for Humanity coming out to spruce up houses, I hope everyone takes advantage of that because, uh, you know, people, seniors, our elderly people, they don't have the money. And if you can also volunteer to help out with Young Habitat, it would be great. There were about five or six different funding sources um, involved in both phase one and phase two. Um, I'll get a breakdown in for, for Wednesday um, of which ones have been drawn down and where they stand because it was multiple sources. Conservation, community development, open space, civic center, and then police. Part of the $2 million that was given to the city for the Asbury Park Inn, the Irish Bar, the Art Room, we put our name on it. And part of the Asbury Park, I think it was before, that was before any of the draft money was drawn. Was Actually, no, it was before the draft money got to the Art Room or the Irish Bar? No, it was drawn, it was drawn down under Irish Bar. The money was drawn out of Irish Bar. Every week for ten weeks, it's a 
world women. That was great in the right place one day living the hot stove and helping to establish God in the temple and child for everybody. That's going to open up doors for the, everybody there to worship God. That's great. Right. It is greatly important that we all have great uh, high character and strong Bringing my hand away for everyone. Um, I didn't get uh, my answers on the senior building, not complete answers anyway, and not on comp time at the last meeting. I was wondering if they complete now with the information that I asked for. The other thing is um, the building pollution was $5 million, $5 million to fix. I see that there's $3 million for retirees in the police department. How many policemen does that represent? And third is CAFA, I think it's CAFA, it's C-A-F-R, that without the A in the bill resolution, and it's almost in every department. How come it's divided like that, and how come we're paying CAFA? I don't get it. And that's it. Well, you're right, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, well, it's five million to fix. No, 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 you, you mean that they're not part of the budget, so they have to, they have to come in. They have to okay, come okay. In. Wait for Wednesday for the rest. <laughs> okay. I think it's so high because I think when you talk about the police, there's a lot of pension system in there. So that's why it's $5 million instead of $7 million or $3 million or something like that. As far as the cash goes, it's right there in the bill that they're paying for it. So a CAFA? I, I, I haven't. It's almost every department. It's, it's not CAFA. It's the police cash. It's not CAFA. I think it's the police cash. I forget what it is. But it's, it's, oh, it doesn't it's an have anything it's an to do it just breaks those down by department. That's all it is. Just it's, it's just a summary of everything. It's like if you buy the bill. But we're paying this, right? It's in the bill resolution. If if you add up all, we'll say office supplies, gas, tires, which is ten dollars, you'll see underneath there's a cap of the ten dollars. It's just a reporting part. It's not being paid. It's just a summary of all the expenses. Believe me, it'll help you. What about the senior building and the comp time? That we've been working on. Uh, I, for the third time with the senior building, it is part of the deed and part of the redevelopment plan is um, interface. If interface, who has two spots on the board, wants to change the makeup of the board, they can kill the vote. Interface does not want to change the makeup of the board. Um, for comp time, yes, as I've said in the past, probably won't repeat this, that it has been looked at. It is being reviewed. I've asked every department to come up with a plan by the end of the year, emergency services, police, and fire, two years to reduce comp time and interface overhead to comply with contract and statute. Uh, did you say that uh, uh, interface doesn't want to change any of the board members? Yes. Well, who are they? I mean, like, what about us? They're the controlling no. interest. They have they created have the vote. They have legal documents. From the city. Those came to me from the Board of Utilities and the Light and the Gas Commission. And they created the board. They did a budget. They have minutes. They have audit reports, which I've mentioned. You can go for them. But the only way to open that is interface as a controlling member has to have two votes. And they're not going to give up control of the board because of their vote. Unless somehow the city members convince one of them to vote against the other. I don't see that happening. So, I mean, Tony Lucci is gone, isn't he? No. No, he's, his last day here is May 30, April 30th, but he's a board member until he resigns. Okay, so the next time you pick a board member, pick a taxpayer. Thank you for your uh, sponsoring that. Oh, well, you're welcome. Barrows, Second Avenue. Uh, there was a pub call on Saturday, and I think Mike Sapatsa went on our congratulations or thanking the police department for being out there early in the day. And uh, the ice 
everybody downtown retailer felt appreciated the fact that there was what I call a full court that kids were kids and adults were not part of the haze and we sort of felt like it sent a message that this summer in particular that we are paying attention that uh, we're not going to sort of tolerate behavior that we've seen in the past so I sort of took a quick poll yesterday and today and everybody felt like it went really well there wasn't the usual stuff going on the evening time was good so uh, congratulations to whomever said they were pleased to find that they step up a little bit and they felt much more at home with Aesthetics, so thank you. Pass it along, and we really appreciate your trying to help us take care of the downtown community. And I don't know if they were on the boardwalk, the pub crawl at all. Uh, no, I don't know if they did, but we 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 did get the the, the council and the mayor to come and talk to us because they wanted to come and talk to us about the public awareness about the the pub crawl. But for the record, when these pub crawls happen, it's however it's organized, whether it's on Facebook or we don't know where to find out.